give you a little overview about um, our program. So uh, first off, uh, natural resources. Um, most people think of coal, oil, and natural gas when you hear natural resources. Uh, really what we focus on, certainly some of that, uh, but mostly it's, it's forestry, wildlife, rangeland management, and wildland fire. So uh, if you think about the job opportunities in a place like Jim County or near there, um, there's a lot of job opportunities right there. In fact, I'll have two or three students working out of the Emmett uh, Forest Service office this summer uh, as seasonal employees. Uh, try and uh, think about what skills you need for the job that you want now and then prep um, your, your plan, your academic plan accordingly. So with that being said, we have um, transfer bound degrees, but we also have non-transfer degrees. So the degrees are associated with applied science that are non-transfer and they're intended to get you ready for a job. And in fact, we require that you get hired um, as part of your degree requirement. So we make sure before you leave here, you've actually got some work experience in addition to your degree. Um, now, I should mention this because you're not that far away from it. Um, for those non-transfer degree students, we actually have a program that we just set up two years ago with the Payette National Forest out of Council, Idaho, not too far from you guys, uh, where they have four positions um, that are only available for my students. So they'll get paid as a federal employee, um, same wage, everything, and they're only available for TVCC natural resource students um, in their timber and their forestry engineering programs. So really cool opportunity, you get to live up in the mountains for a summer, get really good job experience, and it pays pretty well too. We can get you all the Forest Service BLM certifications to go do that, and then some. Uh, what I've seen is a lot of people can get into that wildland fire world without education and degrees in it, but if you want to move up the ranks quickly and you want to take some of those higher level, maybe even year round jobs, the degree is what you have to have. So my students have raced through the ranks pretty quickly. I got students making more than I make uh, with a two year degree in wildland fire and they only work eight, nine months out of the year. We also offer um, programs that are intended for students that just want to come here and get a package of classes. So if you want to come and get certi certified, fight fire pesticide applicators, power saw operations. We offer certifications in industry, uh, but we also offer, offer packages of classes that lead to certifications. So if you can't do two years, don't want to do four years of school, we can do one year and less and still leave here with something. Career technical education. So our focus is on technical skills and career oriented skills, skills that will get you a job. So when I look to my students every summer and see where they go to work, this is the list that I come up with. So top two, hands down, BLM and the Forest Service. So if those are the types of settings, you want to work outdoors, that's where my students go to work. Idaho Fishing Game is a big employer of ours. I've got tons of students. I just had a few of them in here and they bailed on me, uh, but they worked fisheries last year. So um, monitoring fish populations, fish hatchery work, um, and wildlife work as well. So a lot of the work we do is, is uh, wildlife surveys, um, everything from, from upland birds to to big game and bats and, and numerous things. Um, we also do a lot of um, coordination with other agencies, um, BLM, Forest Service, and, and such. Um, damage, so um, get elk raiding haystacks. We gotta assist landowners with managing those problems and and just just a whole wide variety of things. And one of the bigger projects I'm currently been working on is is bighorn sheep capture. So I've been put in charge of that. And we do. Um, there's a variety of reasons why we do. Uh, big horn sheep captures this this go around. We're monitoring all those populations for disease. Their big horn sheep are really susceptible to disease, and so I had uh, over hundred thousand dollars of contracts with, with um, collars to put on sheep. We have a few collars floating around here, and then also um, uh, a capture crew. So we use a helicopter and a net gun crew to to capture those sheep. And then I also had twenty people that I had to coordinate and organize to get these disease samples and and stuff like that. So, um, as far as an agency as a whole, there's about 1,200 to 1,400 employees within the state of Oregon for ODFW. And um, to be honest with you, it's really heavy to the fish side. So um, there's about 300 em um, employees that work for the wildlife division, per se. And um, as far as a technician level jobs, entry level jobs, um, and stuff that you can get from, from or certifications and degrees from TVCC, um, it would be the technician level jobs. So we've got numerous wildlife areas throughout the state and that's kind of where your entry level jobs are and, and require or highly you know, emphasize having college education and then also um, and or um, experience handling livestock and animals either from you know, a, 
a livestock management or veterinary practice type stuff. You know.